What's good, everyone? Back with another Fair Shake review. And this time, we're going to be talking about Lady Gaga's Chromatica. And, yo, I just got to say, the nostalgia is real. This is, like, straight up, like, not kind of, like, 90s, like, dance music. Like, dance pop. And, like, there's, like, a good amount of, like, house and trance, I feel, throughout here. And I'm just, like... I'm, I'm down for it and and you know like in Lady Gaga fashion she 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 does so many different interesting things with her voice throughout the project the the songwriting is definitely um, introspective and reflective at times and then the other times it's really empowering and, and making a statement bold and then uh, and then sometimes it's just fun and quirky and and I really really in, enjoyed it like some of them can come off as a, a bit of kind of like generic love songs but you when you're playing the whole album you're just it, you're just really there for the ride it it really everything um, eases into it, each other really really well like the, it's very cohesive and and so the the thing that just like helps break it up though are the wonderful um, little orchestral um, interludes the chromatica interludes one two and three um, and yeah um, some some major highlights um, for me um, like Rain On Me with Ariana Grande is amazing. Um, Free Woman is also really good. Fun Tonight was a, a cool um, surprise because, you know, with a title like Fun Tonight, um, it seems like it'll be a very, very happy song. But when you listen to the lyrics, you realize, oh, no, it's not a very happy song. But, you know, just like a lot of dance music, especially in the 90s, you get dance songs that have very sad lyrics. And, and that's kind of what that track is right there. Um, then... Um, I really enjoyed Sour Candy with Blackpink. I know it's been um, kind of uh, polarizing for some people because some people really, really like it. Some people really, really don't. I, for one, really do enjoy it. Um, the differences between their performances, I feel, is, is, is even though you think they don't, even though they definitely contrast, I think it's still a a wonderful pairing um, because to me it's kind of like getting the the sweet with the salty I know that a lot of people love pairing things that way it's like yeah they are definitely two different distinct things but sometimes when you put them together it works out and I feel it worked out really well it's just so short <laughs> that's my only real real issue with it it's just how short it is but in the in the grand scheme of things and with how it, everything is sequenced throughout the project it works it works very well it's very serviceable um then um sing from a i mean sign from above where elton john was also really really great and powerful along with a thousand doves I feel like those were really nice um, tracks. And then Babylon, to me, was a really fun closer as well with the, the nice allusions to the Tower of Babel and Babylon, um, the city in the past as well that, um, you know, took, uh, took the Jews, um, if you're familiar with your Bible history. Um, but yeah. Um, it, it was a very fantastic dance pop album like it it, it was very nostalgic yet um, yet um, a bit of current as well um, somewhat like um, Dua Lipa's future nostalgia um, yet um, I, f I feel the difference between um, like Dua Lipa's and Lady Gaga's is that 
like like Lady Gaga was, was way more 90s um, partial partially like Madonna as well um, while um, Dua Lipa was just a little bit more disco um, and a bit and a little bit of 80s kind of stuff as well but I feel it went more disco than like dance and house and trance music um, but yeah um, would definitely recommend checking it out if you've already enjoyed like a lot of Lady Gaga's um, earlier work um, you know everything from um, everything from her debut uh, to you know the Born This Way era that kind of stuff because I feel it's a nice um, return to that kind of music since Joanne was a little bit more adult contemporary I believe um, but yeah um, those are my quick thoughts I'd love to know what you guys think what you guys think down below um, so leave a comment please I will be reading and replying hopefully um, and yeah till next time much love peace threes